be making bases. What's going on YouTube? Beat Making Basics back again with another dope video. If you're new to my channel, please do me a favor. Go ahead and subscribe as well as give me a thumbs up because we're coming back to back with bangers. Now check this out. Today what we're going to be covering is the quickest way to delete automation in Logic Pro 10. The quickest way to delete automation in Logic Pro 10. Now I have this track here. Pretty much I have some... Um, so some volume automation going. If I push A on my keyboard, I'm gonna be able to see, okay, we got volume um, automation. So there's nothing wrong with the automation, it's pretty dope, but say if I wanted to mix this, right, then that's gonna be a problem. So what I would wanna do is delete this, and so how I'm gonna do uh, delete this is, first off, you have to push the letter A to open up automation on the track that you want to delete, okay? And then make sure that's highlighted, okay? You can't do it on this one. You make sure it's highlighted. And once you have it highlighted, what you want to do is right over here, uh, select this, and then right click um, anywhere on this track right here. And if you go about midway down, you're going to see an option that says delete all automation. It's gone, okay? And so now I can come over here and raise the volume levels or whatever I had automated here, um, it pretty much is deleted. And so that's going to be the quickest way to do it. Um, you're not going to be able to delete automation unless, like for instance, let's say I just did this. You do have to be in the automation area to do it. So like if I just right click on this, you're not going to see that option to delete automation here. You got to have push A um, to open up the automation settings and then go down and you'll see delete automation. It's that simple. Appreciate y'all for watching. Make sure that you give me a thumbs up if you like the video. Also, leave me a drop me a comment. Um, I do respond to those. And if you don't do anything else, subscribe. Um, also, by the way, we do have different courses that you can download from my site, beatmakingbasics.com. And I have several loop packs and a drum kit that you can download as well. So go visit the site. Check out what we got over there. And I thank you so much for watching. We're going to holler at you in another video.